What is up, VC gamers? We have a guest today, and his name is Zach. Zach, do you like to introduce yourself? Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Part Timer Zach. Um, I kind of follow around the game and stuff, and I was introduced into this little video for you guys and kind of give my explanation on it. So we just got some news on EU that the next banner to drop is going to be the Aizawa banner. Now, there's going to be a lot of discussion of whether this is a bait banner or not, so we're going to be here to help you decide if you should summon or skip. What do you think, Zach? Do you think this is a bait banner? So, I have kind of a different opinion on Aizawa when it comes to a lot of different aspects of him. I think a lot of people are going to be somewhat happy to see him kind of come around, especially if a lot of these guys are getting, you know, the 80 shards. They're very close. It's going to be a good summon for him if they're able to pull him. However, I feel like a lot of people may be a little bit ticked off <laughs> at the aspect of being able to have him because mainly some people might want Stain or maybe Dobby or something a little bit more, I don't know, something that we haven't seen before. So a lot of people might be a little bit upset at the fact that, you know, now they have to try to pull fries out when essentially they were supposed to get him for free. So I could definitely see it from both ways. I can see your point there. Me as an Aizawa main on my account, I will say he's worth it, but I do not think he's necessary. I do think with Stain coming in the game, he's going to be the exact same archetype as him, which is a speed character. And Stain may be more useful in the PvE content, where you're mainly going for Aizawa for PvP or Super Co-op based gameplay. So that's my thoughts on that. Yeah, I would definitely agree, especially from Super Co-op. He's definitely going to be something that you kind of want with Aizawa. But if you're looking for more PvP, Stain is going to be kind of filling in that gap for you. And we kind of expect that he's going to be coming in the next one, especially based off of the Taiwanese version. It was having Stain during the All Might event here in the U.S. So I really do think that Stain is probably going to be the next one in the circle here, um, just based off of that kind of information. And with the leaks of Jiro and Mina also being around with the Dabby leaks, we don't really know what the next character could be. It could be a big bait. And we could get dabbing next, they could throw a big 180 at us, and it could be literally any villain that they want to bring next if they want to go a different route. I honestly feel like a dabby would be something that would be really cool. A lot of people would be interested in seeing that and seeing how that kind of transpires onto the game, especially since we haven't seen him in any other version of the game. So it could be something that, like, globally, we can have something exclusive. And because they did, I also say that the, you know, the devs also talked about how the games are going to be a little bit different, and we could start to see this variation with different units and different banners from the Taiwanese side. Yep, and then we don't know what kind of vents we're going to get because there is a there is a movie coming out next uh, in August that we can get some new stuff because of the movie coming. That could be in mm -hmm. play. So this could be a bait for you to spend your tickets so they can drop all the hype stuff within the next two weeks after uh, Aizawa is out. I think Aizawa is kind of a cash grab for, for them to trick free-to-play players to summon who really want him because they're at that 80 ticket or 80 uh, shard marker and they only need 10 more so they might try to go for their Aizawa. Especially after the Endeavor, because a lot of people are going to be banking on the rebates from Endeavor, and so they're going to be trying to grab your tickets, essentially, because, hey, you just got those back. Let's see what we can kind of spend them on. And obviously, Aizawa is a hot topic, especially when he was coming out. So I really kind of think that they're going hand-in-hand -hand with that. I really hope that they kind of work with that and make it a little bit easier, maybe an event for them or something that you're able to grind some event tickets a little bit. But I think they're really going to be banking on the rebate from uh, Endeavor. I agree. I do think that when, because we already know if he's coming as an X banner, we're going to get his card banner and his active card banner. Now, his active card mm -hmm. may actually be worth it because it's going to be really good in PvE content, but him himself, I do think he'll be a free event in the future again. And I don't think you need to chase him quite yet. I do think you should wait and at least see if there's any leaks or other news before he leaves, before you decide if you want him or not. Honestly, if you are on that 10 range, I would recommend just maybe a couple multis or even a couple summons to get maybe a little bit of his shards. You don't necessarily have to pull the entire character because a lot of times you can get like three, five shards. And maybe if you do that, you know, two or three times, you're able to get the character without having to pull him completely. So it's kind of up to you guys, but I would definitely recommend just kind of holding on to the bulk of your tickets and maybe just spinning a couple and seeing where the luck is and kind of where that falls for you. My only argument to this is Aizawa is your favorite character then you should not let any meta break your decision. If he's your favorite character and you actually like him, you should summon. But if you're a meta character person, I don't think this character is for you unless you're going for that super co-op invincible rank. And even then, you're going to want to SS him to be really in that meta. Yeah, and this could definitely be a good time for that, especially if you already have him. Maybe it's a good time to pull on him, mainly because you're going to be able to be that much closer to SS and making him a little bit more viable when it comes to co-op. So, final conclusions, should you summon or not? 
Uh, honestly, I feel like, like I said, just, you know, kind of lay a couple of tickets out, see what it kind of goes with, see what your luck's going. Personally, I'm not going to really get him. I already have him. I grinded for him. So I'm just going to be sitting this one out and hoping for the next best thing. But, you know, I can definitely see the appeal and why people would want to get him, especially if you were kind of so close to getting him. And right now would be your only chance to get him for the foreseeable future. So I would definitely recommend kind of checking out and kind of seeing where your luck's at, but definitely not going all in. I agree. And me as an Aizawa stand, I'm going to skip him because I want Jiro. And we already know Jiro is in the data mine. We also know Toga is there. There's a lot of other characters outside of Aizawa that are going to be probably better and more variety of content. But if you are a PvP fan and you love the PvP, you might want to grab yourself an Aizawa. Definitely, I agree with that. All right, Zach. So I, this is sounding like it's it's going to be towards their opinion, whether they summon or not. So me personally, I do think if you're a PvP main, summon. If you're not a PvP main, skip. Yep, I definitely agree with that. I would say just, you know, see what the kind of stuff falls for. And it's obviously based on your play style and kind of what you're trying to go through. You know, PvE, you're going to have a couple of different units coming up that will be able to help you out a little bit there. But if you're really focusing on PvP, it might be worth looking out and kind of checking out, especially since, you know, some of the units before that, you know, weren't really filling that gap except for like All Might. So we not, might not have another PvP unit for quite a bit. Yep. And if you're still having trouble deciding if you should summon out, you don't have to rush in the spanner. The spanner is going to be here for two weeks. Build up your tickets, check your pity and think, do I really want Aizawa? And if you, if you keep coming to the answer, yes, pull Aizawa and then stop summoning immediately. Save your tickets for the future characters coming afterwards. But I would only recommend doing this if you're really, really close to hitting that like hard pity. Right. If you're in that, you know, 80 shard range, that's definitely a good idea for you. As for me, I am going to not summon because if you go to my pity, I am currently at 75 out of 100. I'm just going to skip, play safe, and get my 78 tickets returned to me, plus my uh, card tickets. Now, your card tickets are a different uh, topic. If you are a, a player that are that yeah player that's already gone into the say the endeavor banner and you've already dumped a lot of tickets into this card banner, you're going to get those refunded. If you have Aizawa, I would recommend going for one of his cards because honestly, who else are you going to save it for? You already own the character, you might as well mid-max him, right? Yeah, I would definitely say that would be worth doing, especially since, you know, a lot of stuff going into it, you're not going to exactly know what's going on with the next banner. So it's definitely good to get a lot of units when you're able to because you never know when they're going to be showing up next. Yep. So... Just don't rush into this banner, guys. Our advice to you is just sit and wait if you're unsure and just see if there's anything that could potentially be sparked up in the data mines in the short future after Aizawa. So just play smart. I just want to thank Zach for jumping on this uh, Discord channel with me and actually discussing this topic to help you all out. Thank yeah, you, no worries. It's always a great, you know, way of getting two different ideas and getting a little bit of a debate going on. So we'd like to see that stuff in the discussion. If you guys have anything to add to it in the comments and stuff like that, I'm sure volume control would definitely like to see that. And I would also be hanging out in there and kind of giving my two thoughts and stuff like that. So if you guys want to check it out in the comments and have a little bit of discussion, what you guys think you're going to be summoning on or why you're not going to be, we'd love to kind of jump in on that too. And if you're still unsure, I will be making Aizawa content for the next couple of days just to show everything that he's able to do. And also, I will keep Zach's YouTube channel in the description below. You can also join the Discord. Him and I are kind of like in a co-op Discord, so we're both able to talk to you. He's one of my moderators, as vice versa. So if you have any questions, just come to the Discord and ask your questions. And just remember, if you are free to play, really think about this. Mm. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Once again, thank you, Zach, for coming on. I appreciate this. And... uh Remember guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and if you are curious about any other games, rather it be Alchemy Stars, be sure to check out Zach's channel. Would you like to say anything before we wrap this video up? Uh, nothing much really, guys. Uh, just thanks for watching the channel and making sure to um, you know check out Volume Control. He's doing a lot of cool things and he's growing really rapidly. So if you're trying to get, <clears throat> if you're trying to catch anything around My Hero Academia, he is definitely the person to go for, especially for that PVP content. So make sure to check him out and subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. I appreciate that. And it's the same thing for Alchemy Stars. If you were looking for a good Alchemy Stars content creator and you're around maybe building a Thunder team, you might want to check out Zach. He's got he's got some good it. tips for you. <laughs> but that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Once again, thank you, Zach, for coming on. You're awesome. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Sweet. That's going to be awesome.